So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. However, if we look at the answer choices, we also see that all of these answers are solutions for the value x, which technically means that the strategy plug-in answers should also work here. So which one should you do? Well, I think it has a lot to do with how comfortable you are with simplifying an equation that has a radical in it. Um, I'm going to use the plug-in answers method because I think it's the least likely thing that students will do on this test, and I really want to support using more strategy. Simplify technically is a strategy, but it's more common um, or more similar to what you see in school. So if we use this plug-in answer strategy, we will take the original question, so square root 2x plus 6 plus 4 equals x plus 3. And we just basically try out the answer choices. So choice A is saying that x is equal to negative 1. So let's try that out. So when I plug a negative 1 in for x, I get 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. I add 6. Negative 2 plus 6 is positive 4. So I'd have the square root of 4 plus 4 equals. Again, if I plug negative 1 here for this x, I'd have negative 1 plus 3 which is positive 2. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 4 does not equal 2. So answer choice A is gone. And we just do the same thing for all of these options. So choice B says that x is equal to 5. So again, 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 6 is 16. So I'd have the square root of 16 plus 4 equals 5 replacing x with 5 there, so 5 plus 3 is 8. The square root of 16 is 4. 4 plus 4 does, in fact, equal 8, so b is a good answer. Now, c includes the negative 1. It has the 5 that we know is a good answer, but also includes negative 1, which we know is not a good answer. So for that reason, c is gone. And d as well, right? d has 5. It introduces a, no a new number, 0, which we haven't tested but it also includes this negative 1, which we already proved in answer choice A, is not correct. So D is gone. So for that reason, choice B is the best answer here. Now realize, if we had followed the simplify method, we would have to take the original question, the square root 2x plus 6 and plus 4 and equals x plus 3, and we'd have to basically simplify this equation down to the point where maybe we can isolate x hopefully. So let's see, equals x minus 1. And you can see here even that things start to get a little bit more complex. I'd have to square both sides. It's not impossible at all, but just gets a little bit more complicated than just plugging numbers in. I have to square both sides, leaving me with 2x plus 6 is equal to, I'd have to foil this x minus 1. So first times first, I'd have x squared outer times outer plus inner times inner will give me negative 2x and then last times last gives me positive 1. I then have to combine these like terms here. So I have 0 equals x squared minus 4x minus 5 and now I have a trinomial that can be simplified into x minus 5x plus 1 again because negative 5 times positive 1 equals negative 5, so those are the factors of negative 5, but negative 5 plus positive, or plus 1 equals negative 4, right? So that's the criteria for factoring a trinomial. Of course, this is still equal to 0. And then from there, we'd see, oh, well, that means that x minus 5 equals 0 and x plus 1 equals 0, which means that x is equal to 5 and x is equal to negative 1. And we proved earlier that Although negative 1 is a solution that's coming out of our factored, um, our simplification here, negative 1 actually cannot work, right? So a lot of students will end up choosing choice C because of using the simplification process when really after we get to this stage, we would need to um, test our answers. And that's a very difficult thing to know. Well, when do I test? When do I not test? Um, so in this case, we would need to test our answers, plug in x equals 5, which of course we already did here, so we see that it works, but then plugging in negative 1, 
which we did here, we would see that it doesn't work. And that's why only the x equals 5 answer is correct for this particular question.